So, Daniel, please tell me a little about your first exhibition. Someone told me it was above the local chip shop. Yes, it was. <laughs> Others I... have, have whispered. Yeah that it was Tate Modern. Well, possibly. Um, so I was asked by a lady called Tracy um, to be in a part of a, a thing that was going on about culture and modern day culture, um, which happened to be at the Tate Modern. And of course I said yes, and it would have taken like months to print out all the selfies. And the selfie wasn't a selfie at that point. It wasn't called a selfie. Mm -hmm. So they were called self portraits. And um, in the end, we decided to project them all over the, the walls of the tank. Um, the tank? The tanks, the new tanks at the Tate Modern. Well, yes. they were new then. Yes. Um, so that was my first exhibition. And I think it did, you know, it got a bit of, um, it was quite interesting. You know, a few people were talking about it. And uh, then they asked me, the same lady um, asked me to do uh, one at the Tate Britain, which I kind of jumped at because I thought you know it was, it was one, they're my favourite two galleries so and you thought he who hesitates is lost you're right um, and I would have lost out a massive opportunity in just the, not many people tend to get but I was so um, honoured to be asked um, you know I had to say yes and and, and it, I never actually told that many people about the second one because I was I don't know when you think um, you, you could fail at something or some you know, you kind of don't push it. And, and it mm. was my self-confidence, which really I didn't kind of tell anyone. I was, it was a downfall, but... So it was on the download, the Tate Britain. <laughs> no, it wasn't. <laughs> but um, but it still happened and I was, you know, it was an amazing experience. It sounds splendid. And after that? After that uh, was my... Um, Savannah College of Art and Design SCAD in Atlanta. Oh, how magnificent. Uh, they've just done like a, it was kind of a retrospective of my wardrobe, but not um, my actual wardrobe, how I wore things. There were a few things like an H&M campaign look, um, which went in there, and an ID magazine look, which went into the exhibition. But the rest was kind of um, like 4,000 pieces of what I had turned into 32 sculptures so they're very rich in kind of culture and art and history and design mm. so um that's what that was about and that was kind of like a it was like a regimented army of um the the creature that i've created the creature that you've created being being myself <laughs> and what a fine creature thank you